In terms of this company, maybe I am feeling a little insecure about my matchmaking skills. <sighs> Business has been way down since Aunt Kathy died and I took over. And I just, I keep getting all these notices in the mail and I don't understand what they mean. <sighs> I am Paul the Matchmaker. The Matchmaker. The Matchmaker! Yeah! I, she was nice, but we just didn't click. So I, I guess I like my refund. Yeah, well, you certainly... You didn't get that much time, did you? Is that what you're like on all your dates? Sit down, have a drink. Never mind, I don't like you. That was the third woman I went out with, and you said there was a refund Jeez, after... How do you hold down a job, Darren? What? You know what's really bothering me? Is I feel like I know the perfect person for you. It's, it's, it's right there. Great. Yeah, but I don't know who. It's like I have met your soulmate. I just, I cannot remember who she is. Okay. I guess, though, I'd still like my refund. God, it's driving me crazy. Well, you could call me when you... Th oh, my God. Is your talking bothering you? Because it is really bothering me. I'll admit it. I'm feeling a little underappreciated today. Not going to lie. Yeah, it's bad day. Yeah, you didn't find me my soulmate. Oh, my God. People need to stop their whining, roll up their sleeves, and get down to the hard work of being more delightful. Uh, hey, Ruth, you remember Darla from last week in our whole terrorist pretend game? Yes. That's all. Just wanted to say her name out loud. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, look, everyone. It's Maureen from Consumer Affairs. What next? A tsunami? No, I'm here because you haven't responded to any of the notices we've sent, and I just want to make sure that you understood what they said. We are shutting down your business. Oh, my God. That's it. You're Darren's soulmate. What? I knew it. I knew it. No, no. I know what you're doing, and it's not going to work. You are trying to distract me. We are padlocking your door in three days. I have never been so sure about anything in my entire life. Wait till you meet him. You are going to love him. Oh, my God. I'm good. I knew I knew. I knew I knew. I knew I knew. You know, a lot of people think that because I'm married rich and I haven't been successful with any of my businesses that I don't know how to stick with anything. To them, I say this. Paul's exclusive made-to-order flavored butters was this close to breaking even. Okay? So do not underestimate me. I am going to see this Darren and Maureen thing through to the end no matter what. End of story. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. So you're saying she's shy? Yeah, she's very shy. If she thinks she's getting set up, she's going to clam right up. So we have to be very casual about this, right? Okay. But trust me, she's your girl. I know it. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Have you ever cooked one of these before? Uh, yeah. Sure. You've never, you've never cooked a cauliflower before? Uh, no. It always intimidated me. Really? And I'm not a good cook, so... But I want to eat more vegetables. Oh. Well, good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you with him? Uh, yeah, he said you were super shy. This is what I was telling you about. This is Darren. He is your soulmate. I know it, and I know you know, too. I saw you just connected over vegetables. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't. This would be considered bribery. So you're saying you would want to. What is wrong with you? Seriously, I am out of here. Stay away from me. I don't understand. Are you saying she changed her mind and invited us over? Sure, that sounds nice. Yeah. Oh! Oh! What? Oh. Are you serious? Oh. Are you okay? Oh my god, I'll call someone. Just hang, hang on, I'm gonna call. Maybe I'm not the world's greatest matchmaker. Maybe I have ruined my Aunt Kathy's business. But <laughs> I'm surrounded by people coming to me, wanting me to find them that perfect person who's going to make them complete. When really, who is that great? No one. 
I cannot find you the perfect person that is going to make you happy for the rest of your life. Okay? It's crazy talk. Cannot do it. So, fine. Fine. My matchmaking days are over. Okay? Stabbing Darren felt kind of good, though, because he was really annoying. Paul? Oh, why did the time take me away? Fine. I don't care. Cuff me. Throw away the key. <laughs> no, I, I came to say thank you. It worked. Maureen rushed me to the hospital, and while we were sitting in the waiting room, not being seen for over 13 hours, we fell in love. What are you saying? <laughs> we're saying you were right. We fell madly in love. I've never been happier. You shut your fucking face. No way. Way. So, I'm going to put in a good word with my bosses, and um, you won't be shut down anytime soon. <laughs> Renee, Rosemary, Ruth, come here. <laughs> I match them. I match them. I'm a matchmaker. I got you in me, Aunt Kathy. I got Aunt Kathy in me. <laughs> I'm a matchmaker. I'm leaving Terry. <laughs>